All right, in problem number six, this is one that you should be a little bit familiar with. We've done quite a few of these in class here this summer. And it says the table shows the number of gallons of gasoline in a car's gas tank after the car has been driven X miles. When these data are graphed on a coordinate grid, the points all lie on the same line. What are the slope and y-intercept of this line? Now the best way to handle this particular problem is to use spreadsheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit home I'm going to go down to my spreadsheet, which is what you should have done. Now, notice I already have some of these tables, these spreadsheets open. Just to make sure you don't have any issues, I'd, I'd go ahead and recommend deleting it. And you're going to hit no, you don't want to save it. Go back in. Next step is we're going to change A to X. We're going to change B to Y. And we're just going to put in the first two points in our table. So my first point is 0, 15. And my second is 10, 14.6. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 0, 15. Then I'm going to put in 10, 14.6. So there's 10, 14.6. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to hit Home. We're going to go over one time to Statistics. Hit Enter. Now we just need to move our, well, we'll use our mouse and go over to the side. Remember the one on the left is going to be your Y axis. It's your vertical axis. The bottom one is going to be your X. It lines it up for us and we just have to do menu option 461. 4 which is analyze, 6 which is regression, and 1 which is show linear MX plus B because we want the equation. So now I get my answer and it's negative 0.04 x plus 15. So 15 is going to be our y-intercept, remember, because it comes at the end of the equation. Negative 0.04 is going to be our slope. So if we take a look at this, we can actually rule out quite a few of these. Just knowing that our y-intercept is 15, we can cancel out f and we can cancel out h. And then knowing that our slope is 0.04, that's less than 1, so it can't be J because 25 is greater than 1. So that leaves us with G. And if you're still looking at it going, well, I, I would like to put this in fraction form. Well, since it says our slope is negative 0.04, if we wanted to double check it, we could go home, go over to calculate. And once we go there, we can go ahead and put in negative 0.04, hit menu, go down to number, and then approximate to fraction. Hit enter twice, and it tells us it's negative 1 over 25. And that's our slope, negative 1 over 25.